Hey there everyone, this is Alcal playing uh, Blast Core, and I did it! I fixed the camera. Um, let's just snob right into this last vestige of easy mode here. Salvage Warp. It's showing a bunch of destruction vehicles, so it's probably, yeah, destroy, make all the damage. I remember this one not being the easiest thing in the world? Oh well, well while I'm here and just trying to destroy all of these uh, very expensive, you know, shipping containers uh, for no real reason. <laughs> uh, so! Yeah, look at that, I can make it go here now. And I can go make it even higher now! So, people in the zone of comments were suggesting that perhaps uh, it was because uh, my C up equivalent was sort of like always automatically firing non-stop and that was kind of overriding me trying to make the camera go uh, backward a little bit and so I tested it out I uh, my my C up was put on the left trigger in the back and I removed it and surprise I have camera control again by the way I'm a gifted ruiner or so they say really that's gold I don't feel it I just kind of drove in the square and then went back and I even missed a bunch you're gonna reward me for this game really how the mighty has fallen this is a robot only place Cromlech court so, okay, so like I was wondering, okay, so why does this happen? It's not like left trigger was like, you know, on Odal fire or anything. But there's something I've noticed. In the simple 64, like, little zone, where you set the, like, the control configuration, also known as the little zone, apparently. Yeah, they just put you in a half-finished robot here. Apparently it's because the game can't handle the polygons of the extra arm. That's funny. Um, video games. I don't know what I'm talking about here. We're gonna enter in the ankle. Here we go! Oh. I'm the uppercut man. I drive around doing flips and destroying everything that I can. You don't even need to destroy the whole buildings. You just gotta make like a wienermobile shape hole, like at the right place. Gotta know your distance, cause you wanna go in with a punch. Trees are invincible! You cannot destroy a tree. It's a good thing there are no trees in the way of the Wienermobile. Otherwise, we'd have problems. So I was like, okay, is it because my left trigger, like, is it because the triggers are analog? But no, that's not the issue. Because, like, my equivalent of Z is put on right trigger. And I, I know, I can do it right now. It works. No notes. So what's happened? I have a theory, and it's all about this priceless art that you can put a price on. <laughs> we just had all these spares, RDU. We just put them in the parking. I don't know. <laughs> Good job. So I was wondering, like, so why was this happening? Why, why was L always pressed when R is not? And so, I have a theory. So, if you look at how the controls are set up, you know, most of the time, like, you've got, like, joysticks and stuff are put on axis, and, you know, buttons are put on button, right? You know, like, that makes a lot of sense, I think. Uh, really? Levels are complete? Are there antennas to find? Uh, I guess we're gonna find out soon. Because this is kind of a nothing level? And there's no antenna! This is a step! Here's buildings! Here's a robot! Welcome to New Orleans! Whoa, and the lines are freaking out. So, this has got this kind of a weird nothing level. That is so weird. It makes me feel weird. Let's go in the ocean, where there's echo marches! So, here's what I think might be happening. For some reason, L and R triggers are put on an axis. I think it's like axis four. Uh, one of them is axis plus and one of them is axis minus. So what I think is happening is that one of the trigger for just simply by existing 
was always applying, uh, for the sake of conversation, a minus, like, uh, sort of like, effect. And then, you know, when I would press the other one and it would take over, and it's fine, but it was never on neutral. It was either always one or the other. I think that's what's happened. I don't know. I think it's just really weird because, like, it's not the first time I've seen that in emulators, right? And normally it doesn't matter. Normally the emulator is able, or just like the program in general, is able to handle it fine. Why am I? Oh, right. So here you go. I gotta get up. I gotta sit down. What? What's. Oh, this house? This house needs to go? I did a sweet flip. Today's robot day, I guess. Alright, so let's just kinda go. So, there's a cheat you can do in this game that I will do. So, you see there how it says, oh no, no, you gotta fill, you gotta, you gotta put something there, you gotta fill up the gap. Otherwise, there's gonna be problems. Well, here's the thing if you can destroy all the buildings in time, and the. Uh, and the car never gets to these holes that needs to be filled up. The level just ends and you're good. Maybe. Okay, maybe it's only in time trial. Okay. So, well, there's your hot and handy hit if you're just playing in time trial. Turns out, if you're playing the real game, no, it matters. Alright, you know what? That's fine. Now I know, and now you know. Today's the day of learning. So I might die here because of this blunder. That's okay. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make it easier for everyone. I sat on a hot dog! Can you claim you've done that today? Maybe. But I can claim it too. And then you can see what happened from the point of view of the hot dog. Like that's pretty cool. If you ever want to see what the world looked like from the point of view of a hot dog? Today is your lucky day. But yeah, like, if you're doing time trials, you can just skip the boat, skip the train, just go. It's fine, don't worry about it. And it's so, it makes for a very easy time trial, it turns out. Alright, so normally you have to go over here, and you fly over the hill, then you land, then, no, no. then you go dope do because you're too close to the train! Alright, so we're gonna put that little platform, you know, right where the convoy, it's not a convoy, can fit. So we're gonna break early, or you're gonna bounce on a thing and it's annoying. Something just got destroyed, I don't know what. Man, you are annoying though. Okay. Okay, should be happy, and luckily for you, it's not good. The, it's, the game is apparently like super precise about this and it's kind of annoying. <laughs> Alright, now it should be good. Cool. So yeah, it gives you a car, so at least you can drive back and get to your flying robot. So that's pretty handy. If you haven't somehow unlocked Red Car yet, I guess this is you're almost obligated to unlock it here. So that's pretty nice. Uh, Alright, time to sit on buildings again. Whoa. I didn't need to do that, but I get paid anyway. Whoa. Just sitting down and we gotta play. Alright, so you don't even need to destroy them all. We're gonna be coming back getting all these dots next time. But this time it's boat. Spoiler. Whoa, what? trying to go and I, I thought I bounced on something I think I just turned too much yeah so spoiler boat is very similar to to train especially when it's just kind of tucked in into this like very small channel of water where there's basically no room for it to maneuver also it makes a train sound don't worry about it hey it's good no 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 really oh because I'm in car Okay. It's hard to tell sometimes, you know? Sometimes you're in a boat, sometimes you're in a car. Can be hard to tell sometimes. Where's my robot? Oh, it's way over there. I parked so far away. I'll be back for you later, buildings! Uh, now I'm a floating guy. Got massive wet jet turbines on my back. And the death drive. I don't know if I would be willing to do this. You know, just kind of like let yourself drop like that. So, uh, you're annoying. Just get off. Okay. 
did it. Yeah, so... Okay, well... Because you have to take... Do the train and the boat, it ends up that the level takes longer to do. You know, it's kind of funny. So yeah, you do see a little mention there whenever there is a radar to find. If there isn't, like, it's just not gonna appear there. But if there is, it's gonna appear there with a zero. So you can just tell. Like, you don't have to check on the metals. Like, on the metal screen or anything. You'll, you're just gonna know. Well, this is good. It's good to know things. I'm gonna destroy this building. That's right, you're done for! I don't want you here. This building, gone. See, it was all like completely opaque inside. Like, it's not like they could put everything in it. That girl's really impressed by the way I just chunk that particular piece of a building. I don't know why, she felt like chiming in. Look, I appreciate the positive reinforcement for what it's worth. Yeah. Oh wait, you can go here even though there's light? Last time there was hard light in the tunnel, it was hard light in the tunnel. There, there was no way for me to do anything. Helicopter flying by! They will catch your motor oil if you fling it hard enough. No, I'm gonna step on these little boxes. Little tiny box that are worth as much as buildings. Welcome to New Zealand. Okay, you can just destroy that and just get everything. That's fun. Wait a second, I saw Oren's thing. Send that signal out to space. Why were you in the gas tank though? How did you end up there? What is your life story? I actually don't. I kind of want to know, but I mean, I'm gonna be real here. Oh, well, alright. All the survivors have been destroyed. All the buildings, too. Still missing RDUs, because I didn't get the level complete thing. So if I were to hazard a guess, there's either like one somewhere that I miss, or there's just a parking lot's worth of... I think it's on top of this uh, spire, actually. I'm pretty sure I recognize this landmark. Oh, well, okay. Not quite. It's a mini game that's hidden on top of this massive spire. That is going to be a pain to get to, it looks like. That's pretty good. Alright, so we're going to go from the top of this mountain hill. Zoom out as much as I can. Okay, so what if instead we take the opposite route? And we're just gonna go straight up right next to it. Yeah, that's not good enough. Uh, maybe it's good enough. Maybe from like here. Oh! So you can just fly up next to it. But I tried! Like, I'm pretty sure I tried that. And it didn't. Man, alright. Turns out it was nothing. Can you go backward in this tunnel? Let's find out. Uh, nope. Alright, that's the edge of the world here. Look at all this sweet grass texture. So here it just kind of randomly does that, but I can't go? Alright, there's an invisible wall there. Weird, but okay. Oh, yeah. It's all here. It's on the other side of the river. I knew it was just a big patch, because this is a weird level. This is so stupid. This is just so dumb. <sighs> All right, it's fine. There's the truck, and here's me stepping out. Well, that took an inconceivable amount of time. Like, that was just completely ridiculous. Thank you for the promotion. I deserve it. I am the conqueror of this vast empty field filled with ruins and grass. And we got ourselves what is probably a race and what is probably something I'll struggle with. So you know what? I'm not taking any chances. We did two levels. You wanna you know, it's just 
Yeah, I'm probably gonna have like five minutes of footage of this place, but it took a while. It's a big empty field with big empty field things in it.